time for this week's pickup video. Well, this week I went down to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I went to Save Point Video Games. I've actually done a GamerSpots video on this store that you can find over at GamerSpots.com. Just look for Save Point Video Games in Charlotte, North Carolina. You can watch an interview I had with the uh, person who manages the store and uh, some of the neat stuff they have down there. One of the things I did pick up down there was uh, a repro cart. Uh, this store specializes in making reproduction cartridges for the Sega Genesis, the Super Nintendo, and also the Nintendo uh, game system. And these are games that maybe weren't released in the United States, and they actually put them on cartridges for you to buy to play now. Or there's some uh, homemade or homebrew games that you can buy. What I bought was Devil World for my NES. This is a really fun game. It was only released in Japan. It never came to the United States. I guess there was some kind of issue with the uh, game having actual crosses and stuff in it that I guess the United States uh, rating board didn't like or something. I don't know. But it is a really good game. It's got like three different levels on it. You know, on the first level, you have to pick up a cross and you can start picking up little dots in the maze. And while you got the cross, you can shoot a fireball or an arrow or something. I can't tell what it is to incapacitate the other little critters that are chasing you in the maze. The second level actually has you pick up like little Bible books and put them in the center square to uh, fill in all the holes that's created to get rid of the devil guy at the very top. And one of the interesting things about this game is the maze actually scrolls around. You're not controlling that maze. The little devil guy up top is directing which way the maze scrolls. So you have to time your moves not get caught between a passageway and a wall when the maze goes off to the side of the screen because it kills you. Uh, it does have a bonus level. You try to collect a bunch of little bonuses as you run around the maze. And there's like little arrows you run over that causes the maze to change directions. This is a great game. I, I, I've been really enjoying this. I've been playing the living daylights out of this thing. But this is one of the cartridges that uh, Wilder makes down there at Save Point Video Games. All right, now let's move on with some other purchases I've made. Uh... I stopped at one of my favorite traded stores on the way home today and I found Destructor for my ColecoVision. This works with the steering controller. So you actually drive around the maze trying to pick up these little purple bugs and get them back to this central uh, core to get rid of them. And along the way you got these black bugs that chase you around that you try to avoid. If they catch you, they eat your ship. Pretty fun game. It's a neat game to use with the steering controller. Uh, I, I've been enjoying it. It's pretty common, I think. It, it's, it was really cheap, too. It was like two bucks. So, I eh, couldn't pass it up for two dollars. It's an entertaining game. I really enjoyed it. And then I picked up, I found this on the internet, a sealed copy of Donkey Kong 2 Arcade for my Intellivision system. This is made by Electronite. This is an awesome game. It's got the arcade version in here, which has all four of the screens, has uh, samples from the arcade game, also has another game in here, uh, I don't know what it's called. Oh, DQK Jumpman Returns. It's on the back of the box. Duh, I guess I should read. <laughs> but it has some extra levels that you can actually play, custom levels of Donkey Kong. This is an awesome game. Uh, the gameplay you see here is the game ROM I purchased. I didn't want to open this up. I wanted to keep it sealed, so for $10 I went to another website, Carl Mueller's website, who is licensed to distribute the ROMs. So $10 I just bought the ROM. I just play the ROM on an emulator, so I keep this sealed and nice. Uh, I don't know why. Usually I don't keep sealed games like this, but Donkey Kong is one of my favorite arcade games. I thought, oh, I'll just keep it sealed. And then the last thing I picked up, I picked this up at Destiny Games up in Detroit, well, not Detroit, Canton, Michigan. Uh, it is a boxed, oh, weighs a ton, a boxed Commodore 64. Awesome! And it looks almost brand new, like it's never really been used. It's in really good shape. Oh, jeez! Even got a little dust cover in there. But, eh, it looks nice. Awesome. Oh, this isn't something I'm keeping. I picked this up for a friend of mine. 
uh, the host of Stalking the Retro. He's been wanting to get a Commodore 64, and I happened to tell him that I found this two weeks ago when I was up there. And I told him when I get back up there, I would pick it up for him. So he's all happy now. He knows I've got it. I showed it to him, uh, I think, yesterday or this morning. And so he's all excited to get his Commodore 64. <laughs> so that's all the pickups for this week. Uh, remember, January 18th is Retromania in Canton, North Carolina. And I will be going to that. Uh, I should get there about noon, noon, one o'clock or so is when I plan on getting there. Uh, I also plan on bringing some of the retro magazines with me as well to, uh, to uh, give to the store so the store can start selling this magazine. So if you get a chance to come down to the Retromania, uh, come on down, play some arcade games, see if you win some prizes. Awesome. And see if you can beat my high score at Galaga, Donkey Kong, and Miss Pac-Man. Thanks for watching.